Hey, what's up, guys? If you're like me, you have a lot of music, a lot of movies, a lot of applications in your iTunes library. Today, I'm going to go over an easy way that you can move all those files to an external hard drive. Now, I've done a lot of research on YouTube and various other places, and nothing seemed to be clear when it comes to moving your library. Either the videos are very old, or they didn't give you specific enough instructions on how to do it. So I'm going to try to do it. The easiest way I know how, um, I'm going to break it down to the lowest uh, level so that anyone can understand. I know I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so I needed a video like this uh, in order to learn how to do it. And basically, I did it by trial and error. I learned this stuff myself. Okay, So basically, the first thing is I'm using a Mac, Mac operating system. If you're using a Windows-based computer, um, send me a message and I'll try to give you instructions on how to, to do this. Now again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all my iTunes, uh, files, music, uh, movies, etc. to an external hard drive and then I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, add files to your iTunes library but it won't go into your your uh, laptop or your desktop uh, memory it'll go directly to that hard drive so you're not taking up space on your your computer's um, hard drive taking up memory and uh, using resources etc first thing you want to do guys make sure you have your software updated what I mean by that is make sure you have the latest version of iTunes okay right now let me just tell you what uh, version of iTunes I'm using and this should be the latest version okay I'm using iTunes 10 10.1.2 that should be the latest version of iTunes make sure you update it and also guys what you can do is you can back your iTunes library up before you do this. Now depending on how much music and stuff you have in there, it may take you um, quite some time to do that. You may need multiple CDs in order to copy all your stuff onto uh, a CD. But uh, please back it up. Please make sure you have um, all your stuff uh, up to date. Now the first thing you want to do, and again I'm using a Mac, is you want to lo locate your iTunes library. It should be a folder. The easiest way to do that is go up here to spotlight type in iTunes and what's going to give you is uh, every hit you have on iTunes right here I have a folder that's called iTunes once you click that it's going to take you to a number of folders here one has uh, iTunes music one has previous iTunes libraries now you can go to iTunes music because by default everything goes into that folder once you set up iTunes by default everything is going to be into this particular folder right here now, once you locate that that folder, what you're going to do is we're going to grab this folder right here, iTunes Music, and we're going to simply drag and drop it to the new location. Let me go ahead and minimize iTunes for a second here. Put this over here. Now, for instance, let's say you want to do you want to put it into this external hard drive I have here, twelve called Important Files. Let me click that. Now, guys, I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. Here's my iTunes right here. All you would have to do is drag this right over to here. And what it's going to do is it's going to start copying. Now I had like 80 gigabytes, I think 87 gigabytes of music, movies, etc. So it took me about three hours to copy all that stuff. So depending on how much uh, things you have um, actually in the iTunes folder, that's going to determine how long it takes. Okay, so once you've done that, then you effectively copied everything from iTunes onto your external onto your external hard drive. Now, what you can do is go ahead and, if you're comfortable and if you have backed things up, and I've already done this, I deleted my entire iTunes library from my laptop's um, memory. Okay, so that in essence saved me 80 gigabytes of information. Okay, so I dragged this into the trash after I copied. Okay, guys, so so far we've got our iTunes library copied onto an external hard drive. We went ahead and we've deleted everything off of our laptop or our desktop, desktop's hard drive. So you save yourself um, a lot of memory there. Now, next thing I want to show you is how do you get iTunes to um, move everything from the hard drive on your, uh, your laptop or your desktop? To your external hard drive. What I mean by that is every time you download something, you don't want it to go directly onto your 
laptop or your desktop's hard drive. You want to go to the external hard drive. And this is how you do that. You go to um, iTunes up here. You go to Preferences. You want to go to the Advanced tab. Once you get to the Advanced tab, iTunes Media Folder Location, you want to click Change. Now, I'm not going to do this, guys. I've already pointed it to Important Files, which was the external hard drive we just talked about. Go ahead and cancel this. Now, effectively, what I've done is I've told iTunes, every time that I download something from the iTunes store, I want it to go directly to uh, this external hard drive called Important Files. Now, keep in mind, it's very important to access your iTunes now after you've done these steps. You have to have that external hard drive hooked up to your computer. Otherwise, all the files that we've moved, you're not going to be able to access them, okay, because they're now on that external hard drive. Okay, so once you do that, you want to make sure that click this button right here that says copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. That's very important, otherwise it's not going to copy to that external hard drive. And I like to keep my iTunes media folder organized. Okay, once you've done that, just click OK. All right, so that's that's it, guys. You basically um, move your entire iTunes library to an external hard drive, as well as told iTunes anything that you download in the future. You want to go directly to that external hard drive. You have now saved yourself. Um, in my in my case, I saved myself 87 gigabytes worth of space on my my computer's hard drive. So depending on how much how many things you have. Uh, in, in iTunes that were on your computer's hard drive, you save yourself that much space. Hey, if you guys got any questions about how to do this, please let me know. If you're running a Windows-based computer and you want to have questions about that, uh, send me a message. I'll show you how to do, do this as well. Guys, take care, and I hope this has been helpful.